So the radical disciple that we're going to be looking at today is Jackie Pullinger. She was born in 1944. This is about 60 years ago. She became a Christian at a young age. And when she was in Sunday school, she felt God say to her that she was going to be a missionary, that she should go and that God would lead her. When she was 22, she wrote to all the mission agencies saying, I don't know where I want to go, but I want to go and serve God. They all wrote back and they said no. So Jackie spoke to her church leader and what she did was she got on a boat that went all the way around the world. She got on a boat that stopped off at many different stops. At every stop she'd say, God, is this where you want me to get off? Nothing. God, is this where you want me to get off? Nothing. Until she arrived in Hong Kong. She said, God, is this where you want me to get off? And God said, yes. When she got off, she only had $10 in her pocket. That's less than 10 pounds. So she had to get a job. She got a job as a teacher in an area of Hong Kong called the Walled City. Now this wasn't a nice place. The Walled City was really cramped. There was 33,000 people that lived in the Walled City, an area about as big as six and a half football pitches. It was so cramped, the buildings were 14 storeys high. They didn't have water, electricity, it would have stank. There was no police there, it was ruled by gangs. The alleyways in between the building were about a metre to two metres wide. There was lots of drinking, there was lots of fighting, there were murders, there was lots of drugs. Jackie says that when she walks down a street, she'd have to walk over about a hundred people who were just drugged out on the floor. The gangs were in charge. This would have been a really scary place for a 22 year old woman. She wouldn't have known anyone. She didn't speak the language. She didn't have any money. And there was so much crime about. Once Jackie was there, she started telling people about Jesus. And slowly, one by one, they began to know him. She started a youth group and she started a drugs rehab home. God used Jackie to gradually break through and change the walled city. Now I've been to Hong Kong, I've been to the walled city and I've met Jackie Pullinger. When you go to the walled city now, it's not 14 stories of tall buildings all cramped in with lots of people living there. It's a park. In the middle of the park, there's a stone. And on that stone, it thanks Jackie for her work and says of what God's done there. Jackie is a radical disciple, not just because she did these great things, but because she had to overcome her fear. She overcame the things that she was afraid of when she didn't know where she was getting off the boat when she didn't know anyone there, when she didn't have any money, when she didn't speak the language and all the crime. And God used her mightily.